This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a variety of video speed changes using Final Cut. This is a clip from Standard Films at standardfilms.com of yet another mad fool snowboarding down, which in the middle of August is just, I can't watch this enough. <laughs> And doing it with such grace that I want to freeze this shot right here and talk about what a great job he's doing. Well, how do I do that? Select the clip, and there's two ways. The first is a freeze frame. Type Shift F, which does a match frame back to the clip that's in the browser, and then type Option F, and it takes that freeze frame, puts it at the position of the playhead so that the action freezes with that freeze frame. Now this freeze frame is a standalone clip. You could drag it anywhere. Maybe you want to build it into a montage you're doing for the open, or you want to change the duration of it. But the problem is when the freeze ends, there's no sync with the action underneath it. I actually use freeze frames in every webinar when I'm trying to clean up an edit or, or get rid of a comment or something else. I'll use freeze frames quite a lot because it allows me to extend something and I don't want to have it seamlessly blend back with where it came from. But most of the time, we do want to pause the action right about there. We want to pause the action, select the clip, and go to this little stopwatch icon right here, which is the retiming menu. And select hold. Keyboard shortcut is Shift H. It puts a two-second hold frame in the clip so that as we're watching the action, it freezes and after two seconds picks back up again and carries on. If I grab this black thumb right here and drag left or right, I can change the duration of the clip. If I want to change the thumb that I'm working with, double click on this and I can say I want to edit the source frame and I'm going to change the source frame that I'm working on by double clicking the incoming thumb right about there. If I want to reset the clip back to square one, go back to the retime menu and select normal. Keyboard shortcut is shift N and everything is back. The screen bar is called the retiming bar. You make it appear or disappear with command R. If I want to do slow motion, let's say 25%, the bar goes orange indicating that we have uh, switched to slow motion. To take it back to normal, shift N for normal. If I want to have it go high speed, if I grab the thumb, I can drag this out to be whatever speed I want it to be. Remember, orange is slow and blue is fast. So you can drag to get the speed that you want, or you can choose one of the percentages. You will get Fast motion, you can make it whatever you want. doesn't really make a difference. Slow motion, it will look best if you pick a percentage that divides evenly into 200. So 200, 100, 66%, um, 50%, 33%, 25%, 20 15 10 All those percentages that divide evenly into 200 because of the way that frames play back will be the most effective. Again, to reset, shift and but there's something else that we can do here. Let's select the Range tool. Keyboard shortcut is the letter R. Let's find where we get to that magical moment right there and drag out a range. Going back to the Retiming menu, I want to have it do a speed ramp to zero. And now our intrepid snowboarder slows down and slows down and slows down until he hits a freeze. Let's zoom in. Command plus. Click here. hold that freeze longer and now with the range tool select here and take the speed ramp from zero and again zoom in got to find the thumb and drag it longer shift Z and now as we play this he starts at normal speed slows down and slows down and slows down and pauses and then starts speeding back up again and the cool part of this is, if I grab any of these thumbs, I can change the speed. So I'm not locked into the choices that Apple made. I can make it to be whatever I want. 
Again, to reset the clip, type Shift N and it's back again. Another option that we have is where we're over cranking. We're shooting at a fast frame rate to be able to get smooth, slow motion. iPhones are famous for this. Here, for instance, I'm shooting on an iPhone at 240 frames per second. Final Cut will play that as, and make it look like it's going at normal speed. But what happens if I want to have that really detailed slow motion? Select the clip, go up to the retiming menu, and say automatic speed. And now it's playing every frame of that video at the project frame rate, which gives me this wonderful, liquid, smooth, slow motion, which is just elegant compared to having to slow something which is already in frames, slow it down like we were slowing the snowboarder, simply because he was shot at 30 frames a second, and then when I slow it down, all I get is choppier playback. Here, this is much more fluid. Watch this. This is range tool. This is so cool. I want to look at how he comes out of that snow. Imagine you're doing sports highlights and you've got something here and you want to do a highlight of it. Say, click on the retiming menu and we're going to do instant replay at 50% speed. It instantly duplicates that part of the clip, slows it to 50% and pops in an instant replay as I describe how slow he's going, and then we're back to normal speed. Think of how you could use that for any kind of highlight action. Here it comes again, watch this incredible move, and then we're back to normal speed. Is that cool or what? There's so many things we can do with the speed menu. Take a look at it here. It's called retiming. You'll also find the same options up in the modify menu under retime. It's a duplicate up here for the same thing that's in the stopwatch icon down below. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 288. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.